हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ महेंद्र खैरनार असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री इन गोखली एजुकेशन सोसायटी सर डॉक्टर एम एस गोसावी कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च नासिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ टॉपिक दैट इज असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसि द टॉपिक इन्क्लूड्स द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द फंडामेंटल बेसिक्स नीडेड फॉर द असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसि देन नीड फॉर it then mechanism principal categories asymmetric synthesis what it means when a compound containing an asymmetric carbon is synthesized by conventional laboratory method from a symmetric compound the product is a racemic mixture if such a synthesis is carried out under asymmetric influence of a suitably optically active reagent only one of the active isomer that is plus or minus is formed this process in which a symmetric compound is synthesized from a symmetric compound using a chiral influence to yield plus dextro isomer or minus that is leo isomer is termed as a symmetric synthesis this is an example of a symmetric synthesis where the reduction of pyruvic acid into the minus lactic acid or plus lactic acid can occur in conventional way if yeast is there then nature selects the particular one and it forms the negative lactic acid fundamentals here we need the concept of prochirality prochirality the ability to become a chiral in one single simple transformation the most common prochiral center are the trigonal carbon atoms of alkenes and the carbonyl group here the carbonyl group when uh, reduction by using the lithium aluminum hydroxide or sodium borohydride it gives a chiral but the racemic compound the prochiral center when a carbon atom is bonded to two hydrogens and two different groups the hydrogens are termed as enantiotopic hydrogens and the carbon atom as a prochiral center propanic acid converted into the lactic acid that is the r isomer and the s isomer homomorphic ligands the two apparently identical ligands in propanic acid that means hydrogen atom of methylene group are called the homo morphic ligands stereo heterotopic ligands the two apparently identical hydrogen atoms of methylene group in propionic acid and the methylene hydrogen of ethyl group in 2 butanol are called stereo heterotopic the enantiotopic propionic acid 2 butanol diastereotopic and in propane this is an example of homotopic hydrogens the re and c nomenclature re and si are the two phases in case of carbonyl compounds when the group r and r dash are different the two phases of trigonal centers are different and they are designated by re and si nomenclature the groups around the carbonyl group are given priorities based on the cip rules that is kahn ingold and prelog rules these are also known as the sequence rules if going from the group of highest priority group to the lowest priority group around the face of carbonyl group the path is clockwise then face is re and if it is anti clockwise then the face is si look at the examples of acetophenone anti clockwise si face clockwise re face and what is the need of a symmetric synthesis this is a reflection spot question for you answer is as the nature is chiral the world around us is a chiral and most of building block which make up the biological macromolecule of living system do so in one enantiomeric form only therefore when biologically 
active chiral compounds such as drug interact with the receptor site which is also a chiral one it should come as no surprise that the two enantiomer of drug interact differently and may lead to different effects mechanism of asymmetric synthesis the aim is to make enantiomers into diastereomers to make enantiomers into diastereomers the reagents or the catalyst need to be incorporated with an enantiomeric chiral center the reaction will now proceed differently for different enantiomers because of the difference in the transition state of energy delta g is nothing but nothing but the transition state energy when we are reacting the chiral substrate and the a chiral reagent it will result into the major product and the minor one the one whose stability will be more that will be your major product and the one whose stability will be less that will be your minor product principal categories of asymmetric synthesis here we can use uh, the different categories such as the use of the chiral substrate then chiral auxiliaries chiral reagents chiral catalyst and the phase transfer catalysis method then use of circularly polarized light for asymmetric synthesis the first one is use of the chiral substrate as we discussed the nature's ready made chiral centers where the nature uh, the different compounds which are present in the nature as an chiral compounds they are used for the synthesis this is nothing but the nature's ready made chiral centers this method is known as the chiral pull strategy the compounds such as camphor malic acid ephedrine tartaric acid diglyceraldehyde and nicotine they are present in specific enantiomeric forms this is an example of synthesis of the cholesterol a chiral material may lead to enantiomerically pure product it may react in stereo specific pathway that is the first one where lactic acid r it will be converted into s2 bromopropionic acid the l tyrosine can be converted into l dopa by an enzyme tyrosinase the nucleophilic attack on acyclic carbonyl compounds the major product form when the attack takes place from the rear that is si phase and the minor product forms when attack from the front re phase takes place for certain additions to carbonyl of chiral aldehyde and ketones cram's rule is useful to predict which diastereomer will predominate then use of the chiral the chiral auxiliaries this is the second generation method the cycle explains here that pro chiral substrate it will attach with the chiral auxiliary auxiliary then it will form the product and finally you will remove that chiral auxiliary then this can be used again and again enantio selective alkylation of aldehydes and ketones via chiral hydrazones then third is use of the chiral reagent in this method we need to attach chiral influence to the reagent and not to the substrate as in the case of auxiliaries use of the darwan alcohol as an reducing agent use of the chiral catalyst the asymmetric hydrogenation this is an example where the synthesis of r citronellol is done by using bnap as an reagent the asymmetric epoxidation this is also known as the sharpless epoxidation the chiral beta blocker that is propranol it is synthesized by this way enantio selective epoxidation via oxygen transfer catalyst phase transfer catalyst the asymmetric synthesis can also be done via use of the circularly polarized light 
when we are using the right circular polarized light then the minus octahelicin is formed and when we are using the left circular polarized light then plus octahelicin is formed thank you